A viewer suggested crashing Io into the moon, then placing the moon between Earth and Mars, and finally smashing Europa into it to try to make it habitable. Could life exist in a world like this? This is an extremely bold and imaginative piece of interstellar engineering. So let's simulate it. We locate the solar system and place a moon-sized body between Earth and Mars. This region lies on the outer edge of the habitable zone, colder than Earth, but warmer than Mars. First, we send Io crashing into the moon. An impact of this scale releases an enormous amount of heat. This single collision releases energy equivalent to millions of nuclear weapons. The moon's mantle, silent for 4.5 billion years, is violently reawakened. The goal is to increase the moon's mass and reheat its core, potentially generating the magnetic field needed to protect life. Life in the universe depends on several key ingredients, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, the essential elements of water, genetic material, and energy transfer molecules. After the collision between Io and the moon, these raw materials are now present. To solve the water problem, we crash the water-rich moon Europa into this artificial world. Clearly, this viewer is an astronomy enthusiast, well familiar with the unique properties of the solar system's moons. Europa is primarily composed of silicate rock. Its surface is covered by water ice, estimated to be hundreds of kilometers thick, and it possesses a thin atmosphere dominated by oxygen. Now we have a world with liquid water and a primitive atmosphere. We accelerate time. Simple life begins to appear on this artificial moon. After hundreds of millions of years, life becomes increasingly abundant. It seems this viewer's idea has created the second known life-bearing world. What experiment would you like to see next? Like, follow, and tell me in the comments. Next time, I'll make it happen.